great love for you and anyone who is experiencing that it's actually very common that's the first thing I want to to say and to acknowledge and to assure you is that it's not because you are failing or you're somehow wrong and um, you're a you know you're a bad person it's that we're living in a time of great challenge we we've over many many generations we've eroded true value true meaning true connection which has made it very difficult for most people to establish a firm footing that is in balance that's in harmony first of all connected with oneself and second of all in balance in harmony with life as it truly is so when it comes to yo-yoing the very first thing that brings to mind is balance so whenever a person is yo-yoing it's saying something is not in balance so what are the keys within yourself and your life that will help to generate that balance first thing is a balanced perspective about happiness and about life understanding it's not the way we imagine it to be or we want it to be and what I mean by that is life itself is not a steady constant and yet we've been conditioned to chase that we think that we can only be happy if we finally arrive at some constant and that's just not the way it is as I said and one of the reasons I share um, more deeply about my own life is is because even though I I have that awakefulness I, I experience absolute freedom and joy and peace I'm still part of that changing landscape too so I don't have an unrealistic expectation that means that I see the ups and the downs actually as part of a whole balance and so I allow that so balance doesn't mean oh I'm in the middle of the seesaw and I can just stay there and that's the way it's going to be that's that's actually not balance balance is I'm the whole seesaw there are moments where I really experience and I know I am that absolute unchanged constant now, I'm talking in general okay now if you really know that and you stay in that even if you experience the ride of some ups and downs then you actually are always in balance but you also I know this will sound contradictory but here's the paradox the dichotomy of life even though you can experience that constant that center alignment you can also experience the imbalance of up and down so the other thing is in that relation then is to look for balanced perspective always look for the bigger picture instead of getting lost in the micro view because when you're lost in the micro view you really feel those contrasts intensely keep bringing yourself back to the bigger picture that helps you to sustain a deeper sense of balance and of course then you want to also look at the fundamentals which is balance of health so very often when a person fluctuates even you know it might not be extreme but in some degree you know polarized or bipolar type behavior then it does indicate there's there's not a balance in the brain activity so check in about diet um, health so making sure that you're resting sufficiently exercising sufficiently uh, fresh air nature sufficiently etc and you may need to investigate more deeply what's disrupting that brainwave activity and and that balance that disrupts the ability to come to a little bit more of an even footing because even though what I'm saying is it's impossible for things to be in a constant stable continuum constantly balanced it's also not okay for it to be really extreme constantly so that's what I'm really talking about is shifting and tempering that extreme swing 
from ups to downs and ups to downs to something that is more moderated and more manageable. That's really important. Now, in terms of um, application to help balance what's going on in the, the brainwave activity, there are specific meditative exercises that do help that. In particular, Nadi Shodhana, which is the um, breathing practice of alternate nostril breathing. Now, I can't remember. I think I might have um, taught that in Mastering Meditation. If not, I'm sure there'll be some content somewhere in my <laughs> program material in the Awakening Place where you can learn, really directly learn how to do that practice because there are subtleties to it. If not, at some point I might just actually do a little instruction um, video for you all because it's such a powerful practice to do. Why is because that alternate nostril breathing exercises and oxygenates a crossover between the hemispheres in the brain and it strengthens this relationship in the central part of the brain which is responsible for a deeper state of witnessing awareness, more harmonized emotions and it releases all those positive um, hormones as well. So they are some of the keys for you and, and of course you can explore further to that the central point being balance what is the balance that you are looking for what do you need to do to help restore a reasonable level of balance <laughs>